People often say, Hugh, do you like daylilies? You know, the flowers only last a day. And I say, what's not to like about them? They look great. They repeat flowering. And they taste delicious. How could you not like them? Greetings from the Pottager everyone. Let's do a tour for August and I can show you the good, the bad and the downright awful. <laughs> Let's start with the good and you can see the Rudbeckia, the Goldstrom are absolutely fabulous. I have to say after surviving the slug attacks no, <laughs> after surviving the floods first of all, then the slug attacks, then lockdown and the heat of lockdown and then uh, the subsequent rain, haven't they just done ter terribly well? They really are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Cosmos flowering away, looking fantastic. They really are, despite all the recent rain. They just keep on motoring along. A little bit of deadheading. I must do a little bit of feeding with them. And they're just looking great. I don't know what more I can say about daylilies that I wouldn't have said before, but these guys the selection or collection that I have here, they're just wonderful. They go on flowering. I have some earlies, then I have some later, which are now the later ones in flowering. And lots and lots of buds there as well. Even though each flower only lasts a day, they just really do carry on doing their thing. Very lovely. These big Dinner plate dahlias called maniac. Hashtag flowers as big as your head. And of course, there's the tomatoes. Also part of the good. Nicely ripening now. There's plenty more green ones coming along. Wonderful. Also in the good, the pumpkin. This is the one grown in in the Dalek compost bin. Look at the size of that baby. And then there's the pumpkin that I have growing up and the climbing frame that's produced the fruit. It's like fantastic. And on the bad we have some indoor pumpkin plants under cover. Really affected by mildew. I decided I wasn't going to spray, I was going to let them develop and see what they did. I've taken off some leaves, let in some air and I've been rewarded with what's going to be a gourd of sorts. <laughs> Friends keep them going, you sure that's a pumpkin Hugh? It looks more like a marrow of some sort. And at the start I was going, yes, yes it's definitely a pumpkin. Till now I'm looking going, hmm, I think it's a pumpkin. But you can see a little bit more work needed here. Cleaning out some of those leaves that have collapsed already. Some more of the bad. A little Portuguese laurel that just wasn't planted. It's a little bit starved now at this stage. That's not so good. And a fairly neglected swamped couple of raspberry plants. Hmm, not so good. Mind you, beside it, a little bowl of primulus is looking quite attractive. Hmm, 
and the downright ugly section. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I step away for a couple of days and look what's happened to the dahlia. Munched and more munched beyond belief. It's like this should actually look like this. A fair enough a couple of flower heads gone over but plenty more flower heads on it with lovely lush foliage but instead hmm hmm downright ugly we'll see what we're going to do about that i think as i did in one of my recent videos getting in there deadheading removing any of that sort of foliage trying to encourage these fresh young shoots to come through with a nice liquid feed and top dress would be the order of the day and look at this another downright ugly potato with blight some people go oh i'm not sure what blight looks like and that's blight folks see the tips of the leaves curling in and rotting where a few days ago they were looking very healthy and you can see it's just taken hold so we'll cut the stem we we'll cut the stems off these so the blight doesn't drop down and affect the tubers i'm lucky to catch them at this stage and this one too so we'll cut the stems off now this variety is satanta and it is a blight resistant variety which means it's slower to get blight and sometimes people mix up blight resistance with it doesn't get blight at all and it's not that it doesn't get blight it's just that it's slower to get blight so done well going to remove the stalks off or cut them down to ground level and uh, hopefully that'll save the tubers we'll leave the tubers a couple of weeks and hopefully the tubers will be okay once i start to lift and the final downright ugly is this particular small area here it's like hmm the lavender just didn't come back after the floods of last winter or barely came back so the whole thing that should be three lavender plants full of bloom now and it's not so you can see what needs to happen there and look at this particular find I say a long handled edging shears completely rusted up all ready for some renovation anyway we give you a 360 from here as we say goodbye thanks for watching as always thanks for the likes and the comments and the chats look after yourselves and of course see you in the next one all the best bye bye